Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, punch out, almost like make a stencil out of lettering. And I'm going to show you with a quote that I really love, a Jim Elliott quote. So let's get started. Uh, find a cool background that you like. I found this one. Um, you can, again, go on Google Images, find some find something cool uh, to get to make your quote really pop out. I'm also going to give credit where credit's due. So uh, I got Jim Elliott's name at the bottom here. Now you can uh, just draw, if you press U, you're going to select your shape tool, and if you want to toggle through those, hold Shift U, and you can toggle through those until you're on your ellipse. Um, and I've already drawn my ellipse, but you, what you'll want to do is hold Shift and draw it out. Um, then the properties panel will pop up, and you can, if you want to put a stroke on it, um, how, however you want to do it. I'm going to delete this one because I already have one drawn that I like. And I've changed the opacity. I've made it, um, oh, let's go to about 60%. So that's the way I, I like to make this one. But you guys can play with your opacity, play with your color. If you want to change your color, of course, you can always select here. You can change color here. You can double click to change the color. You can add the stroke from this panel or the properties panel. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of uh, different ways in Photoshop that you can edit things. And as you play with it, you're going to learn just where to go. Now, um, we want to get our quote. So I've already made my quote. And it's an awesome quote if you've never heard it. He is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. Um, now, I edited this text layer. Let me just show you how I did it. I made a, a box and I pressed enter to make the text look how I wanted it to. Now, there's a few options for the text. Uh, for example, you can grab your ellipse, press text, and get, let me get out of there real fast, I'm in the wrong text tool. Um, you can press text right onto your ellipse, and you can start typing. Um, this is not horrible. The problem is because um, it doesn't, it, it's limited to your circle, so you might not get exactly the look that you want out of it. So what I do is um, I just make it myself with a text box. So I, gra I, I make the text box how big I want it. I, um, in fact, let me, let me just kind of recreate it for you. I make the text box around yay big. I put, post it in and then I say, okay. Um, and the way this first comes, just so you guys know, it comes like this, right? That's how it'll post. And then I say, okay, I'm gonna go through here and just backspace enter. I like the way that looks. Who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot. And I want to put lose on the last line. Hit control enter to get out of the text box. And then you can re you can nudge this by just your arrow keys. Shift arrow key does a big nudge and just arrow key does a little nudge. And you can get that where, where you want it. Um, so now that we have it where we want it, let me delete these extra layers. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to, we wanna punch this out, okay? So we're gonna uh, rasterize uh, this layer. In fact, before we do, I'm, I'm gonna go a slightly different way. This is actually easier. There's two, there, there's several ways you can create this effect. Uh, one, you can just grab the W key and you can just start grabbing all of the areas and then you can switch to the other layer and punch it out. Um, okay, you have to rasterize the layer first before you can punch it out. That's one way, but it takes a long time, especially with a long quote. Um, but that's if, if you had a few letters, do it that way. It's just really fast. But since I have a long quote, I'm going to do it a slightly different way. I'm going to grab all of this text. So I'm going to double click into my text and I'm going to hit Control or Command A and then Control C. So I've copied it. Then I'm going to, um, you can hide it. I'll hide it just so I keep it in case any, any mistakes happen. And I'm going to go get my vertical, I'm sorry, my horizontal type mask tool. Okay, now this is going to, uh, it's just a shortcut to do what I'm trying to do. I'm going to hit Control V to paste it. Now I need to move that to, into place. So Control Enter, and then I'm going to start with Shift arrow key. I'm going to start nudging that over to get it to where I want it to. And when you have it where you want it, the next step is really simple. Now from here, 
I'm going to go back to my ellipse. I'm going to make sure that this is rasterized. So I'm going to rasterize layer. Now I'm on my right layer. It's rasterized. It's ready. I can hit delete or um, I, I can delete that selection. Now control D will exit selection and I've made my stencil. So there it is guys. Really simple text technique and uh, you can do a lot of cool things with it. Of course you don't have to just have text. You can do pictures. You can punch out pictures. You can make stencils however you want. Um, and from here if you wanted to, just to give you some ideas, you can add drop shadows. Maybe a drop shadow would look cool um, if we bring that up. Let's see, this is multiply, let's go to normal here. Let's, you could do drop, you can do drop shadows. That'd be one cool, one cool technique. You could do um, the bevel and emboss to give a cool look. If we come up here, maybe an inner bevel would look pretty cool. So you can do all sorts of stuff from here. Um, for me, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it normal, but play around with those different effects, um, and see what you can do. Cool guys. I hope you enjoyed. God bless.